It has been almost 20 years since the September 11th terrorist attacks. One of the most powerful stories of heroism that day. A group of firefighters somehow survived inside the collapsed World Trade Center for four hours. Managed to save a woman's life, too. CBS 2's Michael George sat down with one of those firefighters to look back on the day that forever changed America. Retired FDNY Lieutenant Matt Komarowski's memories of September 11th are always close. This was my helmet um, on the day of 9-11. Why is it important for you to have this here in your home? It reminds me of um, the firemen that we lost that day. It reminds me of all the lives we lost that day. 20 years ago, he and the other members of Ladder Company 6 went into the World Trade Center's North Tower searching for survivors, trying to climb more than 90 flights of stairs as debris fell around them. My captain turned to us and said, firemen will die today. And that was a very poignant moment for all of us. When the South Tower collapsed, Ladder Company 6 got the order to evacuate. That's when they spotted Josephine Harris, who needed help getting down the stairs. We were taking her down, and at about the eighth floor, our building came down. The North Tower collapsed on top of them. I immediately screamed to the guys in front of us to move. What happened next almost defies explanation. The entire building around them was destroyed, but Stairwell B, the spot where they were assisting Josephine, remained standing. Where she stopped turned out to be the spot we needed to be. They spent four hours trapped in the rubble, but all six men on the crew and Josephine made it out alive. There were so many other firemen that day that were doing exactly what we were doing. Um, why we survived, we have no idea. Josephine, who worked as a bookkeeper for the Port Authority, stayed close with Matt and the other firefighters who saved her. We had a special bond with her. She was our guardian angel. If she had continued down to the lobby and then our building came down, we wouldn't be around. In 2011, Ladder Company 6 served as pallbearers when Josephine passed away, carrying her one last time. Michael George, CBS News, New York. Kamarowski credits his wife, kids, and therapist for helping him deal with his PTSD after 9-11. During his career, he became a mentor for young firefighters.